the forehead of your robot. I had started playing Roblox again in October of last year. It had been quite a while since I've been on the platform, since I quit and ventured out onto other video games. Recently I was like, hey, why not try this out again, and logged on for the first time in a long long time. I saw tons of the old games I played back then, most of which were either typhoons or obbies. Some adventure games here and there. Surprisingly, save progress for some of the games I played back then still existed, which surprised me a bit because I would have expected all of this save data to be gone. You should see all the things I grinned up for back then, tons of things. Shows how much I loved Roblox in the good old days. One game I remember playing, and loving, the most was, Cole's Admin House. Man, trolling people there all time always made me laugh. Of course, that would backfire occasionally, and karma would serve its justice toward me, so in order to avoid that, I just had to join a different server, haha. <laughs> I felt like the coolest dude ever, also had the permanent admin game pass to, exploding other people, rocketing them into oblivion, and also spamming commands. After I had finished drifting through the games I liked to play in the past, it was time to play Cole's admin house. I joined the game a few hours, before the major website outage happened for about 3 days, so I noticed that there were only about 1 to 2 players online. I remember the website was spazzing out a bit at this point, I assumed at the time it was just some casual site issue. Keep in mind, this was mid-afternoon, Eastern Standard Time, before Roblox would go down. Anyway, a few connection issues later, I had finally got into the game. However, things seemed really sketchy right off the bat. The whole entire map was literally covered in bright green, with the house walls eerily looking corrupted like, don't really know how to describe that. Anyhow, I noticed there was just only two players in the game, me, and a player called, 283,892. I tried chatting to the user but to no avail, as chat was somehow not working for me. A few seconds later, I noticed 283,892 communicate using the name me command, I think. I couldn't see chat, but yet I'm pretty sure that's what that person was using to chat with me. The first thing that appeared above the user's head were a few random symbols, then numbers being cycled across the head and then, 283,892 was back as the user's name tag. My character suddenly froze up, and keep in mind, I could not reset myself because of course, chat would refuse to work. My game had then suddenly spiked in lag for about a minute afterwards, and then various off-putting creepy music would start playing from volumes ranging too faint, or extremely loud. I instantly left the game, right after the music started playing, asking myself, what in the hell is going on? A few minutes later, I noticed there were zero players on the game, and I decided to rejoin again. The same user was there. Everything was green and weird from the previous server. I am telling you, this was a completely new server. A few seconds later, I was teleported to a game called, 283892. The skybox was some type of rotating storm, with a dark greenish hue to it. My character was literally just in the air, no ground beneath me by the way, looking hopeless whilst the entity, yeah, let's refer to this thing as an entity, started talking to me in numbers and symbols in chat. I couldn't decipher a thing it was saying, but I am sure those numbers and etc had a meaning behind them. The off-putting music from Cole's admin started to play again, and then I was kicked out to an error message, music and all gone as I disconnected. At the home page, I clicked on the game that I had been teleported to, which redirected me to a bad request page. I would continue to do this numerous times trying to visit that game page, until something significant happened. Roblox error, 5,761,746,368,000 696 E67, 596 F75, 283,892, top left center on the web page, which background was all white and that text in black. For the third and final time, I could hear the music that was being played numerous times earlier very faintly, and my computer would suddenly shut itself down. I assumed it was because of this. Really unusual. 
I would turn it on a second later to be welcomed to a blue screen. I noticed my files were luckily unharmed, as I rebooted my computer. After all of this had occurred, I had decided to play other games on my PlayStation 5, and attempted to forget what had just happened. A few hours later, I opened up Google Chrome, as soon as I woke up my computer from sleep mode, and tried going on to Roblox.com. The outage had just begun. I was dumbstruck, and tried to process on what the hell had just happened to me earlier. Did this just happen to me? Or did it happen to anyone else? I took screenshots of this situation while in Cole's admin house, right before the outage, so this is pretty much the only proof I had of me encountering this anomaly. I also did manage to take a screenshot of the error page very quickly, as shown to your right. The number, 283,892, returns to me in the form of an error on that page, spooky stuff. I also tried searching up if this anomaly ever interacted to anyone else during this ordeal, but I'm pretty sure, somehow, there was absolutely nothing to be found about it. A few days later, the outage was then finally over as November began, and I rejoined Cole's admin house to a normal server, with just people using commands. I have not seen anything suspicious ever since the day of the outage. This may sound cliché, but who knows what in the hell that entity was trying to convey toward me. Personally, I think that thing may have had something to do with the outage, but it's all speculation from this point.